Hey, good evening. I just wanted to do one last video to close out the year. And so I want to uh, wish everyone, I hope you had a happy Christmas. Hope you're having a wonderful Kwanzaa. If you celebrate Kwanzaa, today is day four. And the word for today is Ujama, which means cooperative economics, and also many blessings for the new year to come. So what I wanted to do with this video is to go over our two newest additions to the store. These are part of Stephanie Bridges and Spirit, Power, and Truth. Um, for Kids book series, which is a four-part series based on the author's four children and the very unique personalities. Each is trying to find their way in the world with God's guidance. The books explore a child's unique way of understanding his, his or her environment and how they fit in um, from a practical and spiritual spiritual perspective. Poetry and prose are used to voice joy, frustration, jealousy, and triumph. And um, I love about them about these two books in particular is that they featured little black boys and I think that we're a lot of us these days are looking for books like that featuring beautiful black boys and so here's two right here so in book number one the first book in the series is um, if I were part of the animal kingdom which talks about her son named Khalil oh, which I love because my son's name is Khalil too and in this one the very first page, Khalil said, hey, that sounds just like me, and it really does. So it says, my name is Khalil, and I love animals, but I hate being told what to do. Don't say hate, my mom says, and it burns me through and through. If I were part of the animal kingdom, I wouldn't have to listen to rules. I'd be free to run wild and be my own child, and here's what I'd do. And then it talks about different animals Khalil can be, instead of being a little boy who listens to his mom. He imagines being a hornet, he imagines being a gorilla, and this is Khalil's personal favorite, if he were a great white shark. And so as you can see, the illustrations are really fun, they're really great, um, they make me laugh, but also it's a really great story, or a great message that she has in the book. Yours is pretending to be an owl. So it goes on as he talks about bringing different animals in the animal kingdom and all the stuff he'd do if he were all these animals. But at the end, what I love is that he says, since I am a child, I heed my mother's requests. As much as I hate to admit it, she does seem to always know best. Khalil, don't say hate. I can hear my mom's voice saying, oh, I love the animal kingdom. With my life, there is no contest. I am part of God's kingdom and created in his image. And for that, I am truly blessed. And I just love that how she wraps up this book with that message. And so at the end, there's also little questions here um, for your, um, for your um, little boy or girl. He's got a little report in here by Khalil T. Bridges and some questions in here that y'all can go over. What do you like? What do you like to pretend to be? What do you love most about being you? So it's a really great message in this book, really fun, really great illustrations. And this was book one about her son named Khalil. All right, and so this is the book four in the series. This is about her son named Jelani. The same thing, really fun illustrations, um, a really great message. This one is about um, Jelani, who, Jelani. And Jelani fights for the attention that he feels he doesn't get at home. We watch as his alter ego takes on the air and is triumphant in every battle. He wants nothing more than to find his place in the family. Jelani comes to realize there are people all around who celebrate his individuality. Most importantly, he knows he is a child of the all-powerful, he still occasion, but he still occasionally enjoys fighting the air. And so that's what this book is about, is about a little boy named Jelani who's got brothers and sisters, and he feels like he doesn't get attention at home that he, that he feels he deserves. And I think a lot of us as parents can relate to that, that same message, whether you have multiple children, whether you're a single parent, and you have, you know, um, things going on in your life and you just feel busy. I think a lot of us, and I think a lot of kids too, can relate to that feeling of not getting enough attention and acting out because of that. And how do you how do you work on that? How do you fix that? What do you do about that? And so for that reason, like I said, it's a really great story, a really great message in here. At the end of this book, she's got some questions and everything as well. Um, at the back of this one, her son in here says, um, 10 ways I'm like a superhero. And also it's got questions in here. It says, how are you a superhero? So I think it's a great way to end the book here, a great way to work on issues you may have in the home, feelings that you want to work out as far as, you know, not getting enough attention. Um, how do you um, work through that? And also, 
you know, kids who don't want to listen. You know, how do you work through that? How do you talk about that with a child? And so not only are they um, really great books with really fun illustrations, they have really great messages, um, and they're just, like I said, really fun. I'm looking forward to getting books um, two and three in the series. That'll be in the future here. But for now, we have book one and book four by Stephanie Bridges, part of the Animal Kingdom, and book four by The Air Guy, which features Jelani. All right, so um, so those are our two newest editions here. We also have a couple more that we've got coming in. We have um, volume four, Black Sun, that we have coming in. So we'll have one, two, three, and four um, here pretty soon. We've got a book um, about Miko and the Money Tree, which is about financial literacy, which is a really great book that I'm excited about that's coming in. And we also have one other one, um, and I'll leave that as a secret. So come on the website and find out what our other book is that we're waiting to come in. And that's a fun one, too. As far as us, um, you'll see us next in February at the um, World, what is it called? The, um, the Multicultural Fest being held at the University Mall in February. I'll put up the information about that so y'all can find us there. And of course, we're always online on, on Instagram and Facebook, so find us there. But um, cause I just wanted to do a really quick video to go over our two newest editions here by Stephanie Bridges. They're really fun, really great to have, really colorful. Um, and just be looking out for us here um, in February. We also have our um, Black Authors Expo coming up in April as well, which I'm really excited about. Uh, so just be stay tuned for information about our Black Authors Expo as well. And um, have a wonderful night, and we'll see you all next year.